Subscribe our channel for latest news updates. Breaking, Hillary knows the end is near with what she was just caught doing to prepare. In one of those ultra rare moments when crooked Hillary Clinton tells the truth, she actually admitted that she often lashes out angrily at people due to feeling overwhelmed by President Donald Trump and his policies. Poor Snowflake. During a speaking engagement to a group of college students known as the Georgetown University Institute for Women, Peace, and Security to present Human Rights Awards named in her honor to female activists on Monday, the former Secretary of State described feelings of hopelessness and resentment but at the same time about to keep fighting Trump despite it being ineffective. And she made it very clear to everyone in attendance that she intends to keep fighting to pursue his agenda and remain on the front lines of democracy. She later added that advancing for women's rights and opportunities is the unfinished business of the 21st century and that she plans to stick around to help finish the job. Oh, goody. Make no mistake about it. What Crooked Hillary is really doing here is setting up the narrative for when she gets indicted by the Justice Department. Since it has now been proven her campaign was the one who paid for the fictitious Russia collusion dossier and she was in cahoots with Barack Hussein Obama and his weaponized FBI in order to take out President Trump. Once the indictment comes she will say all this is happening because she's a woman which will in turn garner support from leftist women who think she is the best thing since sliced bread. Although Hillary has never been a feminist in her entire life, she has protected her husband, former President Bill Clinton, who is a sexual predator, and viciously attacked his victims. As an attorney, she even defended a 40-year-old man who raped a 12-year-old girl. A girl who, during cross-examination, Hillary Clinton accused of wanting it. Hillary Clinton asked to be removed from a 1975 rape case in which her client was accused of sexually assaulting a 12-year-old girl, the one-time Arkansas lawyer said recently, addressing for the first time fresh retrospective reproach for her defense of a man she suggested was guilty. When I was a 27-year-old attorney doing legal aid work at the University of Arkansas where I taught in Fayetteville, Arkansas, I was appointed by the local judge to represent a criminal defendant accused of Rape, she said when broached with the topic in an interview with British online network Mumsnet. I asked to be relieved of that responsibility, but I was not. And I had a professional duty to represent my client to the best of my ability, which I did. The Washington Free Beacon recently obtained audio from a 1980s interview with Clinton in which she concedes some admittedly disquieting information about how she was able to seize on loopholes to minimize the sentence of the suspect, 41-year-old Thomas Alfred Taylor. Though he faced 30 years to life in prison, Clinton negotiated a plea deal that sentenced him to just one year in county jail and four years of probation. In a sworn affidavit aiming to coerce a psychiatric evaluation of the sixth grade victim, Clinton during the case nearly 40 years ago called into question the girl's emotional stability, arguing she had exhibited a tendency to seek out older men and engage in fantasizing. She added, citing a child psychology expert that children in early adolescence tend to exaggerate or romanticize sexual experiences and that adolescents with disorganized families, such as the complainant, are even more prone to such behavior. But in the recording, Clinton indicated she believed her client was indeed guilty. Heard laughing, she said the polygraph test he managed to pass forever destroyed my faith in polygraphs. Grasping to cast Clinton, the early frontrunner for the 2016 Democratic presidential nomination, as someone far removed from the champion of women's rights around which she's molded her reputation as first lady, senator, and secretary of state, some Republicans have rallied attention back to her handling of the case. Todd Akin whose 2012 Senate campaign was largely annihilated by his theory that women who are victims of legitimate rape shouldn't be exempted from anti-abortion laws because they're unlikely to become pregnant, last month lambasted as incredibly hypocritical Clinton's defense of a child rapist she knew to be guilty. He added that by laughing while discussing the case, 
Clinton delegitimized the legitimate claims of the 12-year-old victim, and that she slandered the victim to justify her tactics. Clinton stood by her defense during her interview with Munsmith. When you're a lawyer you often don't have the choice as to who you will represent, she said. And by the very nature of criminal law there will be those you represent you don't approve of. But, at least in our system, you have an obligation. And once I was appointed I fulfilled that obligation.